The updated Google Drive app is something you definitely should be using. The scanning feature now has an automatic mode that will capture your documents seamlessly and save them. It also converts them to a PDF format and even will do optical character recognition. If you're going to scan a document with your phone and you're not connected to the internet, there is an offline mode. This is something everyone should be using. Let me show you how easy this is. I'm Ron Brown with Tech for Senior, where we help seniors understand technology and scan their documents efficiently into Google Drive using the Google Drive app. Today, I'm going to show you three things. I'm going to show you how you can take and scan a document with this new app. I'm going to tell you how you can use widgets to do this more effectively, particularly for storing receipts. And then I'm going to show you how you can integrate these apps into something like Quicken and bring the PDF format into, into another um, software. Yesterday, I bought a new refrigerator. I have the receipt here, and I'm going to scan this into a PDF format because I want to store this digitally. Now, in the old days, I used to take this, walk across my office to the other side, put it in a printer. I would then wander back over here, start the software. It would scan the document. I'd then have to convert it to PDF, and then I'd have to put it somewhere to store. I haven't done that for about five years because I use my phone. Nobody should be doing the old slow method of using a printer. Today, I'm going to show you the new Google Drive app that has a really incredible scanner in it that will automatically save to PDF and to your Google Drive and to the directory you want. We're then going to take this document that I will scan into Google Drive as a PDF to a specific file. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to easily and quicken attach that PDF file to my transaction in that accounting software. So let's see how it's done. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to make sure you have the correct app. So you can go to the Play Store or you can go to the Apple Store and download the most recent version of the Google Drive app. And this is what it should look like. Download and install it. If you have a Pixel phone, it will be pre-installed and you don't need to download it. But make sure you have the updated app, which has recently been changed. Now, you'll need no other software. The Google Drive app scans your document for you. It will change it into PDF. It even will do optical character recognition. In other, in other words, it will take an image and turn it into text. All that is built into the app. So let's see how it works. So here's the Google Drive app on my phone. I have my receipt on my desk and I'm going to take my phone. I'm going to open the app up and I'm going to hover over the um, receipt and you'll see how it is going to take the picture. Now here you'll see me hovering over trying to get uh, in on top of the scan document and you'll see I have it on auto capture, so you'll see a blue line come around the document, which means it is ready to scan. Now here you'll see the image is scanned, and we now can save it either as a PDF or as a JPEG. I've chosen PDF, and just below that, we've chosen the location on my Google Drive. I have a file set called test. So one of the excellent applications of Google Drive, of course, is to scan and save receipts. Let me show you in this example how I've made some widgets and how these widgets can make your life real simple. So what is a widget? Well, a widget is like a macro or a series of commands. You're, able, you're easily able to create these widgets on your phone. Now, let me show you how that happens. But before I do that, I want to show you the example I've given you here. And these are some widgets I've made up on my Google Drive. So as you see here on my phone, uh, as I expand this out, you'll see, of course, I have the test 
uh, folder that we had, but I also have a folder for Mesa house expenses and I have a folder for medical expenses. Now, when I push those buttons, I immediately get the um, Google Drive to scan the image and put it right in either the medical receipts folder or the Mesa house expenses folder. And you can make widgets up for a wide variety of things. There's no limit on what you can do. So the idea would be is as you're going around and you're taking images of your, uh, of your receipts, you can just simply choose the widget for whatever you want the receipt to go into that directory. So you, it just makes it real easy. You just hit the button and it'll put it right in the correct directory for you. And that's the power of a widget. So let me show you how to make them. So we're now on my phone. We're going to go to the Google Drive app and long press the Google Drive app and you're going to see widgets come up. We're going to click widgets and now we're going to come down and we have two choices. We're going to choose the drive scan widget. When we click this, we're going to be able to create the widget and it's going to ask us what directory we want to place the image in. And we're going to choose, of course, I come down here and you'll see I've made one up for receipts and I've put a folder called test in there. And when we click test, it's going to make the widget up and call it test. So the folder name is what the widget will be called. So the idea would be on your phone, you'd have a folder. And when you open that folder up, you would have a whole series of these buttons or widgets. And you could just, whatever receipt you thought it should go into, let's say an expense for the house or a medical expense, whatever, whatever folder you wanted, you just click the button. It would immediately auto scan your receipt and put it right in that folder for you on Google Drive, which of course would be available from any device. Now, suppose you're not connected to the internet, no problem. It just holds it on your phone and then it will sync it once you're back connected. So now let me show you how we can integrate this into Quicken and let me show you how easy this is. All right, now we're in Quicken and you'll see at the bottom on the blue line is the transaction for my new fridge. And as we move across to the right, you're going to see a little file image. And when I click that, we're going to be able to add a PDF file, which of course I stand into the test document. And so we're going to be able to add that as a file right into Quicken. Let me show you how that's done. So here we come over and here's the file. We're going to click this and it opens up and you can see that we can scan a variety of things in here. And we choose this, we could certainly, uh, we can actually take it from the clipboard, the scanner, or from a file on a hard drive. So we're going to bring up test and here's the scanned image of my receipt. I just click that and say, okay, it's now in there and it actually stores it within Quicken. It's not just a link to the file and we save it. It's that easy to attach a receipt to your transaction in Quicken. So stop using your printer as a scanner. That concept sailed away a long time ago. Use your phone for scanning. It's so easy. And with an updated Google Drive app, it's a snap. Make some widgets. You can easily put your receipts into different folders. And it even integrates with other programs. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video as much as I had making it. Remember that like and subscribe and we'll notify you when we bring out another video. Until we see you again, have a great day.